There's nothing better than the full swing of pumpkin season and really getting the full aspect of that ingredient. Today, pumpkin cookies. Something I have never made before, but with my expertise in the, in the kitchen and my luck with new recipes, I hope this one comes out great. So let's get right to it. I'm going back to the chocolate chip cookie dough, the Cellucor exclusive right off the webpage. Um, if you have not tried it, the comment box below, there is my coupon code, 25% off to pick up your Cellucor chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm going to use one scoop, which is 34 grams. 8 grams of the sugar-free, fat-free jello pudding mix. Helps with overall texture and moisture in the final product. 40 grams of the complete pancake mix. I get the extra fluffy. This comes from Walmart. It's like $1.50, a whole thing. Uh, we're going to use just about one-third of a cup, which is 40 grams. A dash of cinnamon to help the overall pumpkin flavoring. 3 grams of baking powder to help the final product rise. Trader Joe's Pumpkin Pie Spice. If you don't have a Trader Joe's, don't worry about it. You can use a regular pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's just extra flavoring. 40 grams or half a cup of oatmeal. I'm going to use, again, what I love, myoatmeal.com. Big shout out to Anthony. If you guys have not ordered, 22 billion combinations. Um, you can find any flavor you like. Customize the macros, low carb, low fat, whatever. It's all on there. The link is in the comment box below. I suggest you go over there and pick up some up right away if you're an oatmeal fan. And that's why I've been using it a lot lately. Three grams of Splenda to help with the overall flavoring. Wet ingredient wise, a dash of vanilla extract, which I'm just going to pop right into my dry. Two egg whites, which we're going to pop right into our dry as well. One fourth cup of pumpkin. And again, I use my Libby's. Uh, you can use your own store brand, whatever you would like. And we are just going to drop that right into the final product. And what you're going to do is you're going to start to mix it up. If you need a little bit extra liquid, which you may or may not, um, you can add in a little bit of water. But you're just going to simply take a large spoon and mix everything together. And while you are doing this, your oven should be preheating to 350 degrees. So that way, when you finalize your mix, you can drop it on your sheet and you should be ready to rock and roll. And this is looking pretty good as far as the batter goes, so we may not even need additional water, which is a good thing, and I don't think we will, because it looks pretty mixed. The final product, all of these cookies come out to 40 grams of protein, I think it's 41, uh, 70 grams of carbs or so, and like 6 grams of fat. So this is a very low-fat pumpkin recipe. And here's what our batter looks like, nice and thick. So, aluminum foil on a baking sheet, some cooking spray, spray it down, okay. and you're simply just going to take the spoon and drop them on there, okay. and you're just going to repeat the process and spread them out. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to toss these in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. Pull them out. We'll see the final. Guys, 9 minutes on the dot. And you can see how our pumpkin cookies did come out. Okay, Very nice and moist. Nice and golden brown on the bottom, as you can see from the final product. So maybe I could have pulled these out about 30 seconds earlier. But that's it. All you're going to do is let them sit for about 5 minutes. Or you can eat them right away. You can store them in the fridge. They'll be great for a couple days. But again, use the chocolate chip cookie dough, which you can only get on cellucor.com. BCOOP20, BKUP20 is your coupon code to save 25% on all your Cellucor orders and any of your Cellucor apparel. MyOatmeal.com, the link is in the comment box below from where you can order off of Anthony's site. 22 billion different combinations of oatmeal and also PB Lean. The directions, macronutrients, and instructions are also in the comment box below. Keep up the request. Any other future recipes you want to see, let Chef Bob know. We're going to get to work.